I spend a lot of time in the backyard. I'm the center of attention at summer barbecues. Good morning. I made some of the tastiest s'mores. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. It was me, your backyard fire pit, that accidentally started a wildfire when the summer breeze carried one of my embers into some dry brush. Spark a change, not a wildfire. Visit SmokeyBear.com, brought to you by the U.S. Forest Service, your state forester, and the Ad Council. Only you can prevent wildfires. My name is Lola. So my I was very independent. I fell and I one in six seniors faces the threat of hunger, and millions more live in isolation. Drop off a hot meal and say a quick hello. Volunteer for Meals on Wheels by donating your lunch break at americaletsdolunch.org. This message brought to you by Meals on Wheels America and the Ad Council. Hey everyone, let's all stop what we're doing and take a Good morning, Krishana. You can join the live. I don't know. Do I be sending out the join button? You know, you're you on here. They can hear you. And if you turn your camera on, they're going to see you. So let's take a moment to make it. What's up, Gene Walker? Good golly morning, good golly morning. It's your favorite morning DJ. This is Pastor Quinn, and you're tuned in to the hottest, and I do mean this, the hottest morning radio show here on internet T. I I'm finna say TV. Come, come on, let me speak it into existence. Here on internet radio, this is Wake and Praise. It's 817 here in the city of Flint. Shout out to my cousin, Krishonda Starks. She actually joined the live over here on Facebook this morning. I'm so sorry. I'll be sending out the the invites on here. I don't know if I'd be inviting people to the video or what, but 
You know, I'm sorry. Shout out to Rose Marie. Thank you for tuning in. Brother Gene Walker, faithful, faithful. That's who's all over here on Facebook on this morning. Those of you on the YouTube ministry, make sure you give me your name. Let me know where you're from, who's all with me, okay? And to the four about 450 of you that are tuned in this morning in Radio Land. Thank you all so much. It is Friday. It's Faithful Friday. It is also our Giving Friday. So over the next two hours, I'm going to ask you all, if you will please, ma'am, please, sir, if you don't mind sewing into um, giving a donation to the broadcast ministry um, here at WTLR Gospel Radio on Rebirth Ministries. All right. All right. So if you want to give this morning, if you want to give, you can give through the Cash App of the ministry and that's cash tag that's dollar sign rebirth ministries 23 <clears throat> oh y'all forgive me i got a frog in my throat rebirth ministries 23 all right that's r-e-b-i-r-t-h-m-i-n-i-s-t-r-i-e-s the number 23 all right if you want to mail in your gift by check please uh, DM me so I can send you that information. I'm not going to do that on air because, you know, people are weird. Good morning, Sister Katisa Allen. Thank you all so much. These are the loyal, faithful listeners, all right? So real quick, everybody on Facebook, everybody on YouTube, you know what I need you to do. I need you liking. I need you sharing. I need you tagging. I need you boosting it up. I need you talking about it. Talk about it in a good way. Just don't share it. A lot of times y'all share it and y'all be like, Tune in, good music. Now I need y'all to be on some share this. This the hottest, y'all. It's the best. Jumpstart your day here on WTLR Gospel Radio. Wake and praise. All right. So get yourself up and praise the Lord with me this morning. All right. Coming up, coming up, Kathy Taylor with Give Him Praise. Y'all keep it locked right here. This is WTLR Gospel Radio. Wake and praise with your favorite morning DJ. This is Pastor Quinn. You are tuned in to the hottest gospel station. Thank 
you tell our listeners, shout out to Dr. Darcel Cole Robinson. Thanks so much for tuning in over here on Facebook and Brother Rob Mitchell the third. Thanks so much for tuning in. Y'all do me a favor, please like and share. Make sure to go over there to YouTube and subscribe because y'all know Facebook be tripping. I get over there on YouTube. I'm on YouTube also. Y'all keep it live. Shout out to all of you for tuning in. Y'all keep it locked. This is WTLR Gospel Radio. Wake and praise with your favorite morning DJ, Pastor Quinn. Share. This is Wake and Praise on WTLR Gospel Radio. Keep it live. Nobody but the one and the only Kathy Taylor with Give Him Praise, y'all. It is Faithful Friday here on WTLR Gospel Radio. We'll be playing nothing but the best in good gospel music, letting this music, this music right here, letting it heal your soul. Somebody declare on today that this music is going, it's healing my soul. It's making me feel good down on the inside. Can somebody say that down on the inside? Uh Uh-oh. Hold on. Okay. Wake and Praise, WTLR Gospel Radio. Wake and Praise is sponsored by Blessing Builder Empire. Blessing Builder Empire is a locally owned black company in Flint, Michigan. Blessing Builder Empire provides both commercial and residential customers with excellent cleaning services at a reasonable price. Blessing Builder Empire takes great satisfaction in arriving, in arriving at your house or place of business on time and professionally. 
Call 1-888-393-5520 to reach Blessing Builder Empire for all of your janitorial and cleaning services. Again, that number is 1-888-393-5520. You can reach Blessing Builder Empire for all of your janitorial services. Shout out to Mama CC, Missionary Carzella Connors is tuned in over here on Facebook. Thank you so much for tuning in, Mama CC. Please like and share. Y'all oftentimes hear me refer to her on the show. I said, Mama CC said it to you. If she tell you the Lord done told her. Now she'll tell you. She said, now the Lord ain't told me that this mama. But if she said the Lord showed her, the Lord told her. You could take it to the bank and just know that that check is going to clear. All right. She fasts to stay in the face of the Lord. I know she keeps me covered. Now, I can't speak for nobody else, but I know she keeps me covered, and I'm grateful for that. So shout out to Mama Cece on this morning. Y'all is waking praise. It's Faithful Friday. It's also our Giving Friday. Once a month over here on WTLR Gospel Radio, we like to give our listeners an opportunity to sow into this broadcast ministry, Uh, you know, this small black business. Small black business, so we give you opportunity to sow into this ministry, all right? If you want to do so, you can do so by Cash App. The cash tag is Rebirth Ministries 23. Rebirth Ministries 23. Now, before y'all ask, why is that the cash app? Rebirth Ministries is in partnership with WTLR Gospel Radio. It is actually Rebirth Ministries that undergirds, that undergird. Y'all know what that means, the undergird. All right, so you can give your tax deductible donations to Rebirth Ministries 23, whatever it is, $5, $10, $20, $25, $30, $35, $40, $45, 50 whatever you want to give, you can do so through Rebirth Ministries cash tag, cash app. That's cash tag, dollar sign, Rebirth Ministries and the number 23, all right? This is Waking Praise on with your favorite morning DJ. This is Pastor Quinn, and we're playing nothing but the best in good gospel music. Also, Make sure you jump over there on YouTube. Y'all know Facebook be tripping from time to time. Jump over there on YouTube. I'm live on YouTube, and YouTube be just as jumping as Facebook do, all right? We're going to keep things going this morning with Bishop Noel Jones in the City of Refuge Sanctuary Choir with glory, glory, glory. Shout out to Takara Green, baby sister. She's the spoiled one off the bunch. Shout out to baby sister there over there at Black Diamond Beauty Kingdom. If you want to get a part of the kingdom and get your hair done, get them roots and them edges and all that stuff, get you fixed up. Holla at her, DM her, she'll get you right. Glory, 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 glory. I can't talk by Bishop Noel Jones. Y'all keep it locked right here. Get up. It's your morning DJ right here on your gospel station. Keep it locked. The only thing to do is give God the glory. The only thing to do, the only thing to do, the only thing to do is give God the glory. Glory, glory, glory to our King. Glory, glory, glory to our King. To the Lamb who was slain for my feet. The Lamb who was slain. I can't hear y'all tonight. Come on. Glory, 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 glory to our King. The Lamb who was slain for my feet. 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 The Lamb who was slain for my feet.
shout out to Sister Penny Ellison. Thanks for joining us over here on Facebook. Please like and share, like and share. This is WTLR Gospel Radio. Wake and praise with your favorite morning DJ, this Pastor Quinn. <laughs> who's coming over here joining us over here on facebook youtube and through the app live 365 media app on radio a shout out to y'all this morning y'all thank you so much please like and share Alternative Management and Marketing Group. This um, Uncle Lavelle. Hey, um, you should have told me that when you shot off. You lead with that. You say this Uncle Lavelle. Okay, I just DM'd you the information. Okay, shout out to him. All of you over on YouTube. I need to know who you are if you want me to know. See the difference between Facebook and YouTube. When you get on YouTube, you never know who's watching because their names don't pop up unless they tell you who they are. But over on Facebook. You know, because they name pop up. So those of you on YouTube, let me know who you are so I can shout you out, okay? If you have not done so, download the Live 365 media app, all right? Live 365. That is the streaming app for WTLR Gospel Radio, okay? You download that app. It's just like Pandora, just like iHeart. You download that app, and you're able to listen in to WTLR 24-7-365. This radio station never comes off air, and we love the independent artists, okay? So if you are an independent artist and you want to get your music played on radio, send us your music at WTLRGospel at gmail.com. Again, that email address is WTLRGospel at gmail.com. Coming up next, Todd Delay to Delaney featuring Smokey Norfolk with Satisfied. Y'all keep it locked right here. This is WTLR Gospel Radio. Wake and praise with your favorite morning DJ. This is Pastor Quinn. Thank you, Uncle Levin. There's no other station like it. Keep it locked. Thank you, thank you. Please like and share. 
Yep, send it to me. On I will trust. I can get it all now. The Lord. All my days. All my days. I will trust in the Lord. All my days. All my days. I will be satisfied with you. I will be satisfied with you. I will be satisfied with you. Said I will be satisfied with you. I will trust in the Lord. All my days. All my personal contact or the radio station contact. Shout out to Alice Hillard over here on YouTube from Bridging the Gap Ministries. Y'all keep it locked right here. Yep. If you tell me to I gotta keep the day broadcasting online, Bridging the Gap. Whatever you tell me to do, I'm satisfied. So soon as you get well, we got to get our own radio. I will be satisfied. I got you. Whatever they come, oh God, I'm satisfied. Oh Lord, I'm satisfied. Yeah. And where you lead, I'll go. Missionary Bianca. Okay. Katisa, I need you to do something for me up on YouTube. And Missionary Allen, I need you to do something for me on Facebook. I need to run up front and grab something. So I'm going to be away from the camera. Can you all talk to the people for me? I will trust you. Let's talk to him. Tell him. Say he'll be right back. What's up, brother? Have fun. Y'all give me one minute. morning good godly morning thank y'all so much y'all i had to run away from the mic i had to step away real quick real quick shout out to demetrius keener over here on youtube thank y'all so much for tuning in miss latasha king is here over on facebook now latasha king is the owner of blessing builder empire all right i was just talking about that blessing builder empire all 
right. Let me let me get to it. Let me uh oh. Let me get to it again. Let me get to it again. Blessing Builder Empire is a locally owned black company in Flint, Michigan. Blessing Builder Empire provides both commercial and residential customers with excellent cleaning services at reasonable prices. Blessing Builder Empire takes great satisfaction in arriving at your house or place of business on time and professionally. Call 1-888-393-5520 to reach Blessing Builder Empire for all of your janitorial and cleaning services. Again, that number is 1-888-393-5520. But the owner operator of Blessing Builder Empire is right over here on Facebook and she's on the live today. Her name is Latasha King. Shout out to Miss King. So she's over here. So, you know, if you need your walls washed at your crib, your business or wherever, she is on here. So y'all, you know, contact. All right. Let's do our inspirational. Let me go ahead and do our inspirational message of the day. Let's go ahead and get it done because we got some stuff to talk about. I got some stuff I want to talk about. So let me get all of this out the way because I think I'm about to cut up. Can I cut up this morning? Well, whether you say I can or not, I think I am, uh, cause it's some funny stuff that has happened over the <laughs> over the course of these last two days. Ah, uh, let me get to this daily uh, inspirational. Our inspirational message of today is brought to you by uh, Empowered Empowered Life Coaching LLC. Uh, Yep, so our inspirational message is coming from Jeremiah 29 and 11. And I'm reading from the NLT uh, translation of the Holy Written. It says, for I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. And today's inspirational message is work on your dream. Surround yourself with the right people and you can fulfill the dreams God gives you. Put yourself in right relationships with people who are not only like-minded, but are also seeking to honor God in their own lives. Here is a thought to consider today. If your friends don't point you towards God's goal for you, then they're not very good friends. You want to be around dream builders, not dream crushers. When, you're f when, <laughs> when you prune the relationships around you, you're not cutting things out of your life. You're making room for growth so that you can reach your God-given potential. When you make room for God's best, you can walk away from the lesser things that the world has to offer. And here is our prayer for today. God, I know you have my best in mind and in your plans. I know you have my best in mind and in your plans. Thank you for placing a dream in my heart and for giving me people to help lead me towards that dream. I pray that my relationships will honor you in Jesus' name. Amen. Work on your dreams today. You got to surround yourself with good people. You have to surround yourself with good people. Let me tell you something. Your circle, your circle speaks volumes to what you're trying to become and who you're trying to become and what your goal and your destiny is. You got to surround yourself with the right people who are like-minded. If you have a mind to give and a mind to serve and a mind to do for people, it's in your best interest to surround yourself with people who have that same mindset. Because if you don't, you're going to run into people that's going to be saying, why are you always doing this for them? Why are you always doing that? You need to stop. You're going to run into those type of people. You have to have people around you that have the same mindset. See, I'm a giver. And for years I poured in and nobody was pouring in. Stuff wasn't reciprocated. Now, I, I, my papa told me, the late great Do Reverend Dr. Jez Hopkins is, you never let someone be a better friend to you than you are to them. So if I call you friend, then I'm going to do my best to make sure you good. If you need gas and all I got is $20 and you my friend, and I got some friends that's on here that can testify. If I got 20 and you need gas, I'm going to say, hey, you can get 10, I can get 10. I'm that type of friend. But everybody's not built like me. Y'all don't want me to talk. Everybody don't give like me. Everybody don't have the heart that I have. So because of that, I have to be careful. Mm. You got to be careful of who you open up your heart to and who you give in that way to. And you got to be led by the spirit because you mess around and be pouring into somebody thinking they're going to pour back into you and they don't have the capacity to pour into you. Mm. 
the substance they have in their life won't fit in your cup. Mm. I feel like a shift is coming, but I need to stay focused. Somebody stay focused. Not yet, not yet, not yet. All right, so what's going on today, y'all? So at the National Baptist Convention, I got to lead with this. And y'all get the tag and tag your pastor, tag anybody you know that's Baptist. I'm back. I grew up Baptist. Tag them, but I'm about to talk on it today. I'm about to talk on it. So history was made at the National Bap I want y'all to hear me. At the National Baptist Convention, there was a woman, the first woman to ever preach. I didn't say speak. I didn't say from the side podium. I didn't say none of that. I said the first. Somebody say the first. I'm trying to get her name right. The first, the first black woman, woman, hold on, I'm trying to get it, y'all. Okay, the first uh, black woman, first woman, first black woman to preach at the National Baptist Convention. Now, let me tell y'all why, Doc, what is her name? See, I have my stuff all together, and then it disappeared on me. Doctor, uh, I'm getting to it. I'm getting to it. I'm getting to it. Doctor Gina Stewart. Yes, sir. Doctor Gina Stewart. Oh, thank you, Pastor Powell. Shout out to Pastor Devante Powell. She was the first, the first woman. Now, I grew up Baptist. And in the Baptist church, I'm trying to see how I can say this. Okay, this right, I can say. In the Baptist church, mm, the first black, black woman, let me, I'm, thank you, Dr. Powell. Uh, the first black woman to preach at the Joint National Baptist Convention, the Joint National Baptist Convention. Now, Dr. Gina Stewart, say her name. She said, say her name, Claudia. What that the name? She said, say her name, Pharaoh's wife. She worked with that text. Let me tell you what. But it's something that she said within the text that I don't think a lot of people got. Because I caught it. When, when she was preaching, go back and watch it. She said, would nobody else speak up for Jesus? See, this is why I say that whole thing about women can't preach, women can't teach. That was in the fabric of the Baptist church. If you grew up in a traditional Baptist, if you grew up with a church that had missionary Baptists in front of it, you best believe what no woman getting in that pulpit. She could stand off to the side, the side podium. She could teach, do all of that from that side podium. But that main podium and coming in that pulpit, they wouldn't let a woman do that. They would say a woman can't preach. They will always go to Timothy where it says, I do not permit a woman to speak. That's what it said. I don't permit a woman to speak. Now, I got in trouble about this when I was about seven years old in Sunday school because I knew how to read a little bit. I said, if a woman is to keep quiet, mm, if a, go to, I'm going to post it to my Facebook page, Katisa. If a woman is supposed to be quiet in the church, because this is what they taught us growing up. This is what they taught us. I want y'all to hear me so y'all can understand why I got in trouble in Sunday school at St. Martin Missionary Baptist Church where the late Reverend Dr. J.S. Hopkins was my pastor. This is why I got in trouble. Because I would ask questions like, if the Bible say a woman can't speak, because they say they can't preach, they can't, you know, then why do they direct the choir? Why do they say the announcements? Why are they the church secretaries? Why are they allowed to sing in the choir? Why they can usher? Why is it that they can do everything? That was just my thinking growing up. So here we are. Fast forward. I'm not seven no more. I'm 40. 40 years old. A lot of gray hair. Oldest kid. 17. So here we are all these years later. And there's a woman that been preached at the joint National Baptist Convention. Doctor, Doctor Gina Stewart. Now, Doctor Stewart took that podium, and I watched it. And she mounted that podium with all authority given unto her. She mounted that podium with a divine assignment. 
And the assignment that God used her for was to shift the whole joint national Baptist convention. And oh yeah, baby, there was a shift. Dr. Gina talked about the story in the Bible about uh, Pontius Pilate. Yeah. When they was getting ready to crucify my Jesus. Ooh, Lord, it got good. They was getting ready to crucify him. And nobody would speak up for Jesus. But 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 Pontus wife sent a message to him. Her name was Claudia. Claudia sent a message to him and said, do this man no harm. And that's why Jesus, that's why Pontus took his hand off of it and told him, y'all do what y'all want to do with him is your decision. Because that wife, there was a woman. That's the point she was trying to make. There was a woman. That, that I got it. I don't know if everybody else got it. But she was saying there was a woman who spoke up for Jesus when nobody else would, not the disciples. Well, there was a woman who wasn't even a believer. And she preached that thing and she said, say her name. Her name was Claudia. His wife's name was Claudia. And when I tell you, she worked with that text. But the interesting thing is, uh, Dr. Gina Stewart, she closed on them. Oh, I mean, she could. She had. A, it's nothing wrong. I know we living in a day where people don't like hooping. I don't take all that, but there ain't nothing wrong with it when you're in the spirit. And she was in the spirit. Oh, the Lord's hand was all over, and she walked through that thing masterfully as only a skilled theologian can. Yeah. Thank you, Doctor Paul. 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 That's it. Paul. Paul wrote, woman ought to keep silent. Paul said that. Paul said that in uh, 1 Corinthians. And we, uh, Paul said that. I can't hardly see when this stuff be coming up on Facebook because I'm on my phone. Y'all know I can't see a little bit. Paul, the one that said that. And we don't know how to proper, properly estigate text. We don't know how to properly unpack text. We read something, we run with it, don't have a clear understanding, don't know what words mean. I tell people all the time, you have to pay attention to word placement. You have to understand that in the original text, there were words that we, there wasn't English words for. So there's a lot when it comes to unpacking the text. You got to put it in proper context. You have to put it in proper context, people. So for years in the Baptist church, they had that totally wrong. But Dr. Gina Stewart, when I tell y'all she preached and they got happy, it wasn't no Baptist fits. They went into a whole Pentecostal bump at the national, at the joint, the I can't even say the word, at the joint national Baptist convention. They went into a whole Pentecostal bump. Go do your research. Get on YouTube and search all of the National Baptist Conventions. You ain't never seen nothing like that before. Then Dr. Gina Stewart started doing something. She spoke, dang, Dion God was getting to it. She didn't already put it out there. She spoke in a heavenly tongue. She spoke in her good tongue. And she told him, she said, I'm Baptist, but I'm charismatic too. We need the Holy Ghost. I said, oh, Lord, I done got chills all up my body. I said, the Baptist church is finally coming on out. She spoke in them. And then after they went into their praise, and oh, they bumped. They bumped. Oh, they got a good bump. After they went into their praise, then it shifted. It shifted to a whole worship encounter. And I know, because I was watching the video, there were some people who was st sitting there or standing there because of how they have grown up traditionally and the things that have been passed down to us um, traditionally as it relates to scripture. They didn't know how to accept it. They were so stuck. People were looking around. There was one preacher that was sitting up there on the podium, and I'm probably sure there's going to be all kind of memes made about him because he was a trip. That whole preacher, the whole time he was sitting there like he didn't want to be, he missed the shift. He missed everything that was going on. And you could tell by how he was sitting there, how he was looking, how he got up and walked off. He missed that whole shift. And anytime your reformation, your denomination, 
or your org, your or anytime your reformation, your denomination, and your organization won't allow you to flow when the spirit of God is flowing in a place, when the anointing is resting and flowing in a place, or when the anointing is resting and flowing on a man or woman of God, anytime, anytime that your your reformation, denomination, organization, or fellowship won't allow you to flow, you need to question, is that someplace, is something or someplace you need to be a part of? I'm just saying. I said, I'm just saying, I ain't never been that Baptist to where I didn't know what I didn't know what a move of God was. I ain't never been that Baptist or that traditional where I can't understand what the spirit, where the spirit of the Lord is, there's liberty. And then the flip side, I think I got two more minutes and I gotta go on. Then the flip side, somebody say flip side. The flip side is all of a sudden, let me tell you how messy folks is in the church. All of a sudden, her video that was on Facebook that had probably the most views. Dr. Powell, you can chime in over here on Facebook. Her video that was on Facebook, it miraculously disappeared. Went back to see, it was gone, taken down, removed, deleted. So then people start asking questions on Facebook. They're like, where the video at? So now it opened up a whole conversation. A whole conversation. Now we have different movements that's going on. <laughs> we have different movements that's going on. We have uh, the, the Black Lives Matter movement, the women's rights movement, LGBTQ movement. There's so many different movements that's going on within the body of Christ, within whether you agree with them, we can do that, Dr. Paul. You let me know when. Whether um, you agree with them or whether you're not, there is a lot of social issues that's going on in the world. And it's amazing how when it comes to the black church, when it comes to our culture, when it comes to the black church, when it comes to our black religious organizations, we are so behind the mark when it comes to just basic human rights. And them taking her video down showed us that some things is going to be hard for folks to accept and change. Now, the story they told, and I'm going to say the story because you ain't, I was always taught growing up, you don't tell folks, grown folks, that they lied. But the story they told was, this was a story. You're right, missionary, we are divided as a people, but this is a story they told of why the video came down. They say they got hacked. I'm just going to leave it there. They say they got hacked. And uh, they got, uh, what was it? it was a hack. Uh, somebody logged it. I'm just going to leave it there. But I'm going to say this. The video, I believe I posted on my, Dr. Gina, she preached. She preached. She preached. She preached. And it's a shame that our church folks will rather silence you. I don't know how I got out here, but I'm out here. They will rather silence you than to recognize when God is doing something unique in your life. We would rather shut you up. And that's the, that's so ignorant of church folks. She did preach Bishop Marble. They say the days. She, she, they, I hope they, they don't need, she don't need to be silenced. Y'all actually, y'all need to make her the president. I said it. They need to make her the president of their joint National Baptist Convention so that it can really be a shift so that we can come out of this darkness and walk into this light. But let me tell y'all, and I got to play some music because this is radio. Let me tell y'all the best part of me. When she went up in tongues, I went up in tongues with her because I said, this is the National Baptist Convention, y'all. This is the National Baptist Convention. She done went and shifted the whole room. That's how you can tell when you're anointed. That whole atmosphere shifted in that room. And I felt the shift watching it on Facebook. It shifted from the time she got up and started speaking. There was an oil that was flowing through her. 
there was an oil that was flowing through her. And anybody that got the Holy Ghost, anybody that got the Holy Ghost, you can see out of her belly. She had carried that word in her belly. Y'all, y'all, I need to stop because I'm tapped in a little bit. She had carried that word in her belly. And when she released it, it was full of the oil. God was breathing on her. The Holy Ghost was upon her. She had a divine assignment for a set time, a set season, and a set place. And she was the set woman that God used. All right, um, Lucinda Moore, Lord, I hear you coming up next. This is WTLR Gospel Radio. Wake and praise with your favorite morning DJ. This is Pastor Quinn. Let's get back to some good Let's music. Get back to some good music. <laughs> Man, let me tell you. If y'all, let me get it on my page for y'all that didn't listen. That woman preached. She said a lesson. As my pastor was saying, she said a lesson. Lord, I yes, I Dr. Paul, Dr. Paul. For a minute there, I couldn't tell. I said, is this the National Baptist or is this the full gospel? Baptist Convention. She did. The oil was on her, Bishop. The oil was on her. I'm trying to find the whole. I thought I shared it last night. I thought I did. Ah, Devon. Ah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I know you, Devonte. What you say? It is. Uh, it be fine, but then after so long. <laughs> Yes, but she did. She had the Holy Ghost. I'm trying to find the full sermon. I'm going to find it and post it to my page and the radio station page. But yeah, she had the Holy Ghost. And she had, what I love about it is, now hear me, I don't have a problem with women preachers. Hey, I, do, I don't. But I do have a problem with this. Get up and preach. Don't try to convince us that God has called you. Just do your assignment. So, I have an issue with that when somebody trying to, you know, prove that they've been called. But I don't have an issue with women preachers. That's across the board with anybody. Male, female, it don't matter. If God called you to preach, you don't have to prove nothing to me. Get up there and preach. Right? So, when she got up, the authority that she talked with, I, I said, this lady about to preach. And she had that word together. She knew her lesson. She was scripturally and, the and theologically sound. And then she closed. She closed. She closed. She closed. She closed. That's all I'm going to say. She closed. And if you don't like that type of stuff, don't even go watch it. Sister Amber. Good morning, my Amber. She preached that word. She preached it. What say I do? You told me to get up.
is a place where people are coming together. I gotta tell you, I was nervous to talk to someone so different than me. Me too, but I'm glad we are. Love Has No Labels and One Small Step are helping people with different political views, beliefs, and life experiences come together through conversation, and it feels good. Wow, your story is so... Uh, Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> when people actually sit down, talk, and listen to one another, they can break down... Good morning, Amber! ...as human beings. At Love Has No Labels... Good morning, good morning, good morning. ...one small step, you can listen to amazing... Y'all know this is, um, this is our Giving Friday. This is our Giving room. Friday. We're asking I, all of our listeners to help know. support um, the broadcast ministry here at WTLR Gospel Radio on a small radio station. We're asking our listeners, our loyal listeners, once a month, we have a, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> once a month, we have like a give-a-thon, asking you to sow. These are your gifts, our tax, uh, it's a tax write-off, uh, Rebirth Ministries is the undergird and partner of WTLR Gospel Radio, so you can give through the ministry to support the broadcast ministry, okay? You can give by cash app. Hashtag that's dollar okay, sign. That one's not Re for everybody. Birth birth for ministries is, 23. Is that's re r e i r t h ministries 23. Whatever gift you want to give that is tax deductible, you can give give. All right, please, ma'am, please, sir. Y'all support us on this giving Friday. It's faithful Friday. It's quick, easy, and free. Plus, it's sponsored by AARP, so you know they got your back. Move, Dad. All right, Hi, sweetie. So wherever you are in your retirement savings journey, head to aceyourretirement.org and start chatting with Avo today. That's aceyourretirement.org. Good golly morning. Good golly morning. It's your favorite morning DJ. This is Pastor Quinn and you're tuned in to WTLR Gospel Radio. Want to thank those of you who have already given on this Giving Friday. You know, we're going to do this once a month. So thank you all so much. Those of you who have already given your gifts, make sure when you give through Cash App, uh, put your name in the memo section, your actual legal name and uh, email address if you can so that we can send you the information we need to send you for your taxes. All right. All right. But it's Giving Friday over here on WTLR Gospel Radio where we play nothing but the best in good gospel music. It's 909 here in the city of Flint. It's 36 degrees outside and it's uh, cloudy. It says it is cloudy. A little rain drops, a little drizzle, drizzle here, there, everywhere a little bit. All right. Shout out to the BTG family bridging the gap. They then came on in with us. Some of us came in for some of them came in for a second. Some of them are still sticking and staying. So I want to tell y'all, thank y'all so much for tuning in. All right. All right. We're going to keep, keep, I can't even talk. We're going to keep this good gospel music going, but I'm trying to find the full video of Dr. Gina, um, her sermon, her preaching so that I could send it. Um, some people have texted me, asked me for, as soon as I find it, I'm going to send it. Uh, to you all by DM, and I'm going to post it, all right? I'm going to send it, and I'm going to post it. Today is the 26th. Oh, y'all, guess what? Ricky Diller album dropped today. Ricky Diller's whole album came out today, so if you need, if you don't have it, run over there to your Apple Store, your Play Store, wherever you get your music from, and get that album. Ricky Diller's new album just came out. The whole album came out. We've been playing the single Hold On. I'm going to play it a little bit within the show on today, all right? Y'all like and share, like and share. Don't leave me, don't leave me, don't leave me, don't leave me. Don't leave me without liking and sharing Facebook, YouTube. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. I need to hit 50 subscribers in like two weeks. So I need y'all help. Subscribe and hit that bell notification. Then in two, in two weeks, if you don't want to subscribe no more, that's fine. But I need to hit that 50. <laughs> y'all keep it locked. Coming up, the one and only, the first lady of the Church of God in Christ, Miss Karen Clark Sheard with Couldn't Tell It. I couldn't tell it even if I tried. Y'all keep it locked. This is Wake and Praise here on WTLR Gospel Radio with your favorite morning DJ. This is Pastor Quinn. Get up. It's your morning DJ right here on your gospel station. Keep it locked. God's been so good.
Thank you, Emrys. I got the whole video. I'm going to share it to my page right now. I 
shared with couldn't tell it if i tried have you ever gone through something in your life and you look back and you say man i don't know how i made it i don't know i actually couldn't tell it if i tried because the the, the 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 fact of the matter is i gave up resigned from the situation a long time ago but god kept was faithful to his word and he kept me so i couldn't tell it i couldn't tell it if i tried shout out to emeris thank you so much he dm'd me the whole video of that sermon from dr gina Lord, go watch it. What would you do with Jesus? My God, my God. The, na the joint National Baptist Convention. It'll never be the same. But you know what? I guarantee you, whatever pastor that was there that had an issue with what she did, I guarantee you they're going to preach about it Sunday from their pool. I guarantee you they're going to get up Sunday and going to be like, nah, even though I was there, I don't believe. Watch. I guarantee you. Y'all know that's what they're going to do. All right, y'all. Ricky Dillard uh, album dropped today. It dropped today at midnight. So make sure you go over there to wherever you get your music from, the Play Store, the Apple Music Store, and get that album. Get it, okay? Get Ricky Dillard's new album. We're going to play that single, Hold On, right now here on WTLR Gospel Radio, Wake and Praise. Shout out to Brother Aldridge. Thanks so much for tuning in over here on Facebook. Now, Facebook. I'm getting ready to get off of Facebook, and I'm going to do it right now because I know they're going to flag me when I play this. Even though I'm fully licensed, this is a licensed, legit radio station. Y'all know Facebook ain't saved all the time. They ain't saved. They in and out. They hot, then they cold. They allow you to do ministry, then they don't. So I'm going to give y'all a minute, Facebook. Go to YouTube. I'm on YouTube now. The YouTube family is jumping over here on Facebook. Y'all jumping, right, YouTube? All right. Go over to YouTube right now. Go to WTLR Gospel radio go over there to youtube subscribe subscribe hit the notification button so that when i go live in the morning and start the show y'all will be on there you feel me so scoot on over there y'all scoot 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 on over there it's three three more of you come on come on yeah, Katisa said, we jumping over there in YouTube holiness. That's it. We're down to two. It was, come on, you last two. Come on, I want to get the number to zero over here on Facebook. Come on, I need you. Well, how they say in church doing offering? Come on, let's move quickly. Let's move quickly. Come on, move quickly. Those of you in the back, those of you over here to my left, come on. If I can have you move quickly. Those of you to my right, the center aisle, come on. Let's move quickly. Let's do this expeditiously. Let's do this expeditiously. I need you to move from Facebook to YouTube. Come on. Come on. There's two more of you. There's two more of you. Come on. In the back, lady with the kids. What, 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 uh, what, uh, what's her name? What Kim Burrell say? Are uh, you with the face mask? Come on, quickly. I'm, I'm, the, the Lord is using me right now. So go, come on, y'all. Go move on. I told y'all to move over to YouTube and the number's still going up. Let me get let me get in the chat over here. Y'all oh, let me get in the chat real quick and tell y'all. Uh, okay, I'm finna tell y'all in the chat. Move over. Y'all move over to YouTube. I'm getting off of this here. Facebook. Going. To be live on YouTube. WTLR. That's it. 
All right, I put it over there in the chat, so I need y'all to move. Now YouTube numbers are going down. Lord have mercy, we just can't do right. We just can't do right. Y'all move on over. Come on, come on, come on. Move over, move over. Come on, y'all switch over. Anyway, coming up next is Ricky Dillard with Hold On. This is WTLR Gospel Radio, Wake and Praise. Come on, Facebook Ministry. This is your favorite morning DJ. This is Pastor Quinn. Y'all keep it locked. I can't, I can't help, help but praise, praise him. him. He's been so good, good to me. All right, thanks, man. I love y'all. Hopefully y'all moved on over to YouTube. Come on, let's move. Come on, let's move. Come on, let's move. Move, move. I'm trying to get two more people. I'm trying to get them to spin over.
He has some time up. See how it works. I'm giving y'all what y'all lack, though. So can y'all don't make the soul into the station. Come on, y'all. Help a brother out. Because Jesus saved the day. Jesus saved the day.
When something feels different, it could be Alzheimer's. Now is the time to talk. Visit alz.org slash our stories to learn more. A message from the Alzheimer's. Good golly morning. Good golly morning. It's your favorite morning DJ. This is Pastor Coyne. And you're tuned in to WTLR Gospel Radio. Let this music heal your soul. This is Wake and Praise. Shout out to everyone that's tuned in on radio. Those of you that are tuned in on YouTube, thank you all so much. Those who have been texting me, DMing me on morning, thank you for your love and your support. Those who have donated and gave, thank you so much. Let me tell you all something. So I got a team. We have a team. And oftentimes I don't like it. I'm going to tell you why people, but I'm at a point I really don't care no more. Um, I didn't like it, but I'm learning to just accept that some people are just ignorant. Um, they always talking about, especially in the church, how somebody ain't doing right by this or doing right by business or doing right by that. They don't understand. It takes money to run anything. So when y'all be talking about y'all don't want to give y'all church or y'all don't want to, y'all don't want to give to y'all church because, uh, this person getting the money, are they doing that? Well, let me tell y'all something. My pastor talked about this Sunday, the Bishop Vic Shot. He said, we will go to the Lions game, pay all that money for a ticket, right? Because we're going to support the Lions. We will pay all that money for a ticket. But when the season is over, it's over. We will go to concerts and pay all that money for concerts and whatnot, what have you. But then when it comes to the thing, when it comes to ministry, when it comes to supporting our culture or our own, when it comes to giving and so on, we won't do that. But we'll give our money to any and everywhere else except keeping it within our community. In the Jewish community, they have their own banks, grocery stores, um, doctor's office, hospitals, their money circulates four, five, six times within their community before it goes out of their community. We don't have that. We always think of somebody trying to get over. We always think of somebody trying to get ahead. We always think of somebody trying to do this, do that. So let me help you all with something. Nobody starts a business and don't expect for their business to do better, uh, for their business to grow. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, we don't ask them what they're doing with the money. We don't. I don't know nobody that that's 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 calling Apple talking about where is that $2.99 going every month that I'm paying? You know you got extra data. You know your phone working. Y'all don't want me to talk because see, this is a touchy subject for me. And then I, I ain't trying to go left. I want to stay right. I want to stay right. So we need to quit doing that. If you're gonna support, you're gonna support. If not, then you're not, but don't knock, don't kill it. Don't, don't kill it. Don't kill it. If you don't have it, you don't have it, but don't kill it. Don't kill it. Don't kill it. Y'all get up. We get on here every week, every day. Oh, we love the music. Y'all text me. Hey, Quinn, thank you. You uplifted me. The word was great. You blessed me. You this, you that. Thank you so much. Every morning I'm up, uh, energized, trying to get you all energized, pouring into you. And I'm just asking y'all to sow a seed today. Sow a seed. We're going to do this once a month. Just once a month. Look, the numbers be... <laughs> I be cracking up. Y'all funny. Uh, some of y'all funny. So just, you know, once a month. All right? Somebody say just once a month. Do I play good music? When y'all send me stuff, somebody requested. I'm coming up on the rough side of the mountain the other day. And I played it. I got it. And I played it. I, I did. All right? I did. Okay? Coming up next, Jermaine Dolly with Come and Knock on Our Door. Y'all keep it locked right here. Come and knock on our door. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jermaine Dolly. Hey, 
man, I'm telling everybody to come back to church. Just knock on the door. Check it out. Sing a Almost messed up again. God will command his own. By special request of Katisa Allen, Look at God by Corn Hawthorne. Y'all keep it locked. <laughs> All right. So that's what we have to distinguish between the two. I, I have come to a place in my uh, growth, um, in my relationship with Jesus Christ, in my relationship as a believer. I've gotten to a place where everything has to be put into its proper perspective. Everything needs to be put where it needs to be put. And then you'll know how to properly use it. Anything you don't know how to properly use, even though it has great benefits and could be a potential to help you, it could then turn into harmony. For instance, salt is not a bad season, but we don't know how to use it. Salt is not a season. Salt is something you pinch and sprinkle to allow all of the flavors to come together. But we've gotten to a place where we have become addicted. And, and when we become addicted to something, we misuse it. We become addicted to something as small as salt. And because we become addicted, and in our addiction, we use it out of content. Now we have things like high cholesterol, high blood pressure, 
that's causing us to have strokes and different things. So, I'm coming up on the rough side of the mountain. It's not a gospel song, but it is a traditional inspirational song. So, we just have to know where to place it within the proper context. Okay, I'm done teaching. <laughs> Every time I turn up, you keep blessing me, blessing me, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, God, he's making a way. Oh, yeah, God, oh, yeah, God, every day, yeah, oh, yeah, God, I can't take no credit. He's the one who did it. Oh, yeah, God, oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, God, I am always reminded. You know, I'm gonna tell y'all something. Godly morning. Good godly morning. This is Pastor Quinn. You're tuned in to WTLR Gospel Radio Wake and Praise. Listen, those of you who are tuned in through radio, oh, it's about 300 of you that's tuned in today on radio at this point in time. If y'all have not subscribed, now I got 24 subscriptions over here on YouTube. Now, all of y'all that's over here on radio, I need y'all to scoot over there to YouTube. You ain't got to watch the video, but just um subscribe to the page. I need y'all help. I'm trying to hit the 50 mark, okay? Now, let me tell y'all something about this YouTube. I know, y'all, I'm sorry. I just keep belching. I'm a little gassy in my chest. Um, uh, they get they they get a little bit more than what you get on radio. Um, I love, I love history, I like to research, and I love to study scripture. I love to study scripture. I love to study scripture to gain understanding and to gain revelation. And one of my prayers is always, Lord, give me a relevant, a practical, and a timely word. I don't want to be in the 80s and we in 2024. So give me something that's practical, relevant, that can be applied to what we need today and in this hour. So over on, when I'm live on uh, YouTube and Facebook, y'all know I go into my rants on radio, but then I get off because I be having to play music and make sure you know, I do all the stuff I need for these sponsors. But over here, I can't play this song next. It's too long. It's too long. It's way too long. It's 9.51. Um, and that's another thing. When the song get cut short, you know, typical time is five minutes. No more No more than five. Four, no more than five. So when they have eight, nine minute songs, y'all, I have to cut it short sometimes. So y'all pray for me. But anyway, over here on YouTube, they get to experience me in a lot of ways that a lot of people don't. Um, that word is in me. And I like to share the gospel or share the word of God from a place to build up, not tear down. So even if it's something that I disagree with, I'm always one that's going to say, you know what, the revelation I got from the text, that's not the text, but that's not what I got. But if God was telling them that, then that's what God is telling them. So it's never no judgment over here. This is not a place or a platform that I use to divide the church. I want to help build the church. I want to help show people this is what true Christians this is what true believers um, look like. This is how we act. So that that's what it's about for me. So thank you all so much for um, being with me. OK, Toby Mac, light shine bright is coming up right here on WTLR Gospel Radio. Then I'm going to come with some closing announcements and tell you all we'll be going to start on Monday. Y'all keep it locked.
They shine bright everywhere we go. Music for the people, make it music for the people. They shine bright everywhere we go. They shine bright everywhere we go. Music for the people, make it music for the people. I want to magnify your light. I want to reflect the sun. Cut like precious diamonds. Colors by the millions. This is the only world we know. And for now, this rental's our home. If we gon' be a reflection, gotta make this sky glow. Just so you know. Light shine bright everywhere we go. Music for the people to illuminate the show. Light shine bright everywhere we go. Music for the people making music for the people. Light shine bright everywhere we go. Music for the people to illuminate the show. Light shine bright everywhere we go. Music for the people. Jesus music for the people. Light shine bright. Light shine bright. Lights in the city might be more than pretty pretty. That freaky shine might be more than me see. Anytime you see the sparkle in the dark, it might look deeper, deeper. It might be more than simply killer. Kill that smile might be joy that's connected to the spirit. The spirit might be contagious if you dare, you dare come near it. I remember can't forget that you can't second guess. Sparkle as the light reflects, we rank and pay it for the checks. Light shine bright everywhere we go. Music for the people to illuminate the show. Light shine bright everywhere we go. Music for the people making music for the people. Light shine bright everywhere we go. Music for the people to illuminate the show. Light shine bright everywhere we go. Music for the people. I do have a full time job, and some mornings I just can't go live out there with me. Light shine bright everywhere we go. Hey Dad, your prescription will be ready in just a minute. Hey Dad, your laundry will be ready in just a minute. Dad? Your lunch will be ready in just a minute. Hey, honey, why don't you take a minute? When you help care for a loved one, you give them as much time as you can, making sure they're safe and comfortable. But it's just as important that you take some time for yourself. At AARP, we can help with information and useful tips on how you can maintain a healthy life balance, care for your own physical and mental well-being, and manage the challenges of caring for a loved one. Because the better care you take of yourself, the better care you can provide for your loved one. Thanks, Dad. Thank you. You're there for them. We're here for you. Find free care guides to support That's you and your I'm loved one at aarp.org slash caregiving. That's aarp.org slash caregiving. A public service announcement brought to you by AARP and the Ed Council. All right, class, let's hear what everyone did this weekend. Jill? Well, I raised my older sister to a big oak tree. It was at least 100 years old. My mom said I must have set a record or something. And then we went down by a stream and perched up on this huge rock and saw all of these little minnows swimming around way below us. And then I rescued my little brother from an evil slug king who was guarding him at the bush fortress. And my sister and I brought him back to our super twig for for safety. And then we all laid out and told stories until it got dark. And the Big Dipper led us all the way home. Wow. Wow. Awesome. Where were you, Jill? Yeah. We went to the forest. It's not that far away. Anyone want to come this weekend? <laughs> Ask your parents to Let me tell your what I'm about to do this week and find the fun, adventurous you. It's closer than you think. Check out discovertheforest.org. Brought to you by the U.S. Forest Service and the Ad Council. Okay, good golly morning. This this Pastor Quinn. So this is what I'm about to do. Because it's daily bread time, right? I'm, that, that, that woman of God preacher that I was telling you all about, Dr. Gina, I'm, that's who's going to be our daily bread speaker for today. And I, Hold on. So those of you on radio, y'all bear with me. 
uh, uh, I'm going to. Yep, so I'm finna do the sermon. I'm, I'm getting it right now. Somebody say you're getting it right now, right now. So that's going to be the speaker for today. Mm-hmm. Sure am. So y'all get the text and the call and the folks tell them, say that it's finna be up. It's, it's, it's finna be, that's going to be, uh, yep, I'm going to. Yep, I'm fin- I'm putting it on right now. So, uh, y'all know Daily Bread starts at 10. I'm getting it together right now. I want to thank y'all for tuning in on today, all of you from all over, from everywhere. Thank y'all for those who gave, those who had a mind to give but did not have. <laughs> y'all know how they do it, church. But thank y'all, seriously, y'all make my day. I hope something that's said, something that's done here on WTLR Wake and Praise helped your day, all right? But yeah, I'm finna get a mother on right now. I'm waiting on it to compress uh, down. I'm Dr. Gina. Yeah, create the category. Uh Uh-huh, Dr. Gina. So yeah, y'all make sure if you ain't got that app, get that app. Get that out because she's going to be our daily bread speaker for today. So it's probably going to, you know, it's going to take a minute. But nevertheless, thank you all so much. Those of you on YouTube, those uh oh, those of you on radio. Uh, I just thought about it at the last minute. I said, you know what? Let me see if I can get this real quick. And we're going to go from there. But, yeah, she's going to be our so y'all so y'all can hear it. I want y'all to hear it for yourself because that woman of God knows she had a word. She had a word and I believe everyone needs to hear this word. All right. So y'all know I'm going to be off of live. They can see me live stretching. I'm going to be off of live and, um, but the radio station, you can tune in through the app. So download that app. All right. Starting Monday, Monday will be our new time. Radio Wake and Praise will begin at 8 a.m. on Monday. So every Monday, every weekday morning at 8 a.m. now, okay, 8, 9, 10, 11, we're going to do 8 to noon. From 8 to noon, you can tune in to Wake and Praise, all right? I might have to change the name of the show because that you should be Woke and Praising. So we're going to say tune in to Woke and Praising, all right? So just stay tuned to our social media. If you're not following us on show, so little, if you're not following us on social media, I please, please, ma'am, please, sir, begin to follow us on social media, okay? WTLR Gospel Radio. All right, y'all. So I'm still getting this. That's, that's going to be, she's going to be the speaker for today, but I can't hold it up no longer. So it's coming. It's coming, like I said. But I'm going to stay on YouTube until I get it started. For those of you on Facebook, y'all keep it locked. I mean, those of you on radio, y'all keep it locked for this good, good gospel music while we wait on Dr. Gina to come on in the room. Y'all keep it locked right here.
When I got up this morning and I saw a new day, I said, One more blessing, Lord, as you sit my way. When I looked around and I saw everybody doing okay, I said, One more blessing, Lord, as you sit Lord, you bless me over and over, and all through the day, I said, Lord, oh, bless me, bless you sit When I got up this morning, and I kneeled down to pray, I said, Lord, Oh, blessing, Lord, that Jesus said, And then he said, whatever is right. He said, I will pay. I said, one more. Oh, blessing, Lord, that Jesus said, You bless me over and over. And all through the day, I said, Oh, oh bless the Lord. You know, Lord, you bless me with joy and peace. And then you told me you would supply my need. And when things in my life they turn cloudy and gray, oh, you keep on sending blessing my way. We got up this morning. I kneel down to pray. I said one more. You send my, you know what? My money, it got funny. <laughs> but my bills, you help me to pay. I said one more. You sent my, you bless me. Over and over again. One more, one more, one Lord, you bless me with joy and peace. And then he told me he would supply all my needs. And when things in my life they turn cloudy and gray. Lord, you keep on sending. Blessing my way. Way to God this morning. I kneel down the praise One more blessing. You see, my my money, <laughs> it got funny, but all my bills, he helped me to pay. I said one more lesson, you said it's all I know is one more, one more lesson, one more, one more lesson, one more, one more lesson. One more blessing, one more blessing. When I got up, one more blessing. And I looked at myself, one more blessing. I was still able to open my mouth, one more blessing. I was still able to walk around, one more blessing. I counted, one more blessing. One more blessing, but listen. 
Isaiah, came to Hezekiah and said, the Lord said, set your house in order because this day you shall be good bringing you the good news all day long.